Hi there, this is Mr. Hula2 with uh, CreeFlashLight.com. I'm um, just going to do a quick uh, demonstration review of the Ultrafire WF502B. It's a Cree LED flashlight that's uh, it's got the Q5 chip in it. The manufacturer claims that it uh, puts out 210 lumens. It's got five modes. It's got a belt clip, uh, knurling. Um, it's water resistant. Uh, let's break it down, okay? So can unscrew the back of the flashlight to reveal uh, the switch. Um, in this case, I have an Ultrafire uh, 18650 um, IC protected 2400 milliampere battery, rechargeable battery here. Um, the body can be screwed off as well um, from the flashlight. Um, there's O-rings at this side as well as the, the uh, button end there, you can see. Um, the head of the uh, flashlight, let's see if I can picture it, you can see that it's got that dimpling with the LED right down at the base there. Okay, so let's reassemble this and give you some, some night shots here. So s assembly, you put it in reverse. Some people uh, advise putting um, s on a routine basis some uh, silicone grease along the O-rings to preserve its water resistance. Uh, I, would, I, I would concur with that. I think that uh, one, keeps the O-rings nice and supple, and two, uh, helps form a water tight seal. Okay, so now it's assembled. Uh, use is quite easy. You just click it on to turn it on, all right? Uh, depress it halfway to go to low, lowest, strobe, SOS. Okay, let me see if I can turn the lights off here and uh, give you uh, the best idea of what it looks like. All right, so so that's SOS. That's max. That's high. That's low. And I think some of this um, artifact in the image is um, it's how the circuitry lowers the output of the flashlight and then there's strobe and SOS again okay alright um, before we end this video I wanted to, to show the flashlight attached to um, our offset tactical mount ultra, uh, ultimate arms um, and it fits very nice and slugly um, you know you can't get that off with the just uh, without tools. So let me put it put it on my Keltec and show you what it looks like. Hold on one second. All right. All right. So here it is on the Keltec. I mounted on on the left side since this doesn't have a quad rail system on it. Uh, I find it easier to actuate the light that way, you know, so if you want to go through the different modes while you're holding the rifle, uh, I find it simplest to put it on the left side. Again, this, um, this mount itself is uh, adaptable to the uh, opposite side, and I don't have a rail on that side, but if, but if I w it had a, you know, a, a foregrip here and wanted to actuate it this direction, over here, I would just, uh, you know, reverse the configuration and have it installed on that side. But again, it's user preference, um, and for this rifle, I like I like it uh, in this configuration. So if you guys have any questions, if you want to uh, check out more products, please come to our website, CreeFlashlight.com. Um, again, this is Mr. Hulu2, and thanks for watching.